Let's solve a couple of questions on figuring out frequency and amplitude from, from graphs. So for the first one, we have a transverse wave on a string which travels at 20 meters per second. A graph of the height of the wave along the x direction at a certain moment is shown not below but to the side. Now what is the frequency of the wave along the string? Okay, as always, pause the video and try this one on your own first. Alright, hopefully you gave this a shot. Now we need to figure out frequency, right? This is F. That is what we need to figure out. Let's try to think back what was frequency. Well, frequency really was the number of vibrations per second. That was number of vibrations or oscillations, number of vibrations or oscillations per second. That was frequency. And the relation to figure out this was one by T. Now in this graph, we know the height of all the particles in, in a snapshot of time. So the entire string is oscillating and this is a snapshot in time when we see the displacement of each and every each and every point on the string. The good thing is that we know the speed and we can actually try and figure out the wavelength from this graph, right? Wavelength was the distance between two consecutive maximas or two consecutive minimas. So for this, this wave, the wavelength really is two meters. You can see it is two meters. And from the wave equation, from the wave equation, we know that this wave speed V that is equal to lambda into F. This is lambda into F. We already know what the speed is, that is 20, and we just figured out the wavelength. So we can work out frequency. Frequency then, frequency then is V divided by lambda. And in this case, it will be 20. This will be 20 divided by two. So this comes out to be equal to 10, 10 Hertz. Okay, let's look at one more question. Here, the vertical position of a certain point on a string over time is shown. What is the amplitude of the wave? Okay, we need to choose one answer and we have a displacement time graph. Again, pause the video, first try this one on your own. Okay, so now here we can ask ourselves, what is amplitude? Amplitude, this was, this was the distance, the distance between the midline or the equilibrium line we can write we can write the midline and the maximum point of displacement or we can write we can and the crest or the trough so this was amplitude distance between the midline and the crest or trough maximum positive displacement or maximum negative displacement from the from the equilibrium line that was amplitude in the graph we know we can see that we can see that this this distance right here the distance between the crest and the trough that is really it's starting from two and going till going till minus four. So this distance really is six meters because covering one, two, three, four, five, six meters. And we know that the amplitude is really the half of this value. It's really the half of the distance between the crest and the trough. So six by two, this is three meters. And that's the amplitude. Amplitude is three meters over here. 6 meters is the distance between the crest and the trough. Amplitude is always the half of that. 3 seconds, this is a wrong unit. And minus 3 meters is again wrong because amplitude is always taken as positive. As it is a distance between the midline and the crest. When I say maximum positive displacement or minimum maximum negative displacement, we are really taking the magnitude of that at the end of the day. So we are really considering only the distance. And if we do try to draw the midline for this, this wave, that will be that will be somewhere 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 here that could be the midline the midline of the wave all right you can try more questions from this exercise in the lesson and if you're watching on youtube do check out the exercise link which is added in the description